Okay, so, so this is my last response on this Amber Gaga thing. Because now they're saying that you cannot fault someone for what they have in their heart. Meaning the judge <clears throat> that hugged Amber Gaga and Grant John, the brother of slain both in John's, uh, both in John's brother, uh, hugging, hugging Amber Gaga. But let me tell you something. Do you know an act of kindness can cause damage? Well, first, let me don't go there. Let's talk about the hypocritical part first, because the hypocritical part says you should not fault someone for, for what they have in their heart. So why do we hold back the bad guys or the families that go after the bad guys um, in, in court and try to harm them and attack them, right? We tell the family, oh, you got to relax. You got to control yourself. Why? Isn't that what's in their heart? Vengeance? What about the bad guys, the criminals that are like pedophiles and rapists and all these different things, all these different people? We go after them and we say, oh, don't do that. That's wrong. Why? Because that's what's in their heart, right? Okay, that's the hypocritical part. Because if we're going to say that it's okay to do what's in your heart, then we should say it's okay for the bad people to do what's in their heart, right? The next part of that is we have to watch what we perceive as good deeds because good things can cause damage. Let's think about... Uh, an abused wife or a battered woman uh, who's going through Stockholm Syndrome and she keeps going back to her abuser. It's good for the abuser. He loves that, right? It makes him feel good. So it's in his eyes, it's a good deed. But it's a bad thing. Overall, sends the wrong message to the abuser and sends the wrong message to the people that is witnessing. Maybe her children or family or other people. We have to look at the damage. We can't just automatically say, and I said in a previous video, that really what it is, we have psychological damage of what we perceive as good and bad and who we should um, forgive and show compassion to and all that. Because we're trying to just get by in this country without being hurt, right? So that's the one part. But the other part is we really have to watch the damage that we cause. We cause damage. We cause damage. We, we think that because we're doing good, all of a sudden other people are going to, turn good like it's contagious right like it's a sneeze or a yawn or something or cold like no good deeds can also cause damage and we have to learn to protect ourselves from those that are abusing us that's it this is my final word and that's all i have to say about this let's get back to business and getting our economic power built collectively and getting to the next level because if we do that less of these things will happen anyway